I will say one thing that's really interesting. Just a few minutes ago, I got a call from the United States uh, Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, who commended Kansas City on a lot of the infrastructure work that we've been doing. That, of course, relates to the bridges that we're improving, but more than anything, it works. It relates to the fact that in all of our departments, our parks department, public works, water, so many others, not only are we getting good grants, but we're showing cooperation at its best. That cooperation is with our city, with the state of Missouri, with our federal partners, with so many other actors who make Kansas City a better place to live each day. So at the end of the call, I said to Secretary Buttigieg, we appreciate not just the call and the money, but we want even more. So hopefully today as we celebrate this, there's more to come with all of our great partners. We're also excited to be here in Swope Park. Each of us who speaks can tell you a lot of stories about Swope Park. I learned how to drive a stick shift right up here on this hill going back and forth. I'm sorry, Director Cotton, because I was blocking some traffic and having trouble way back when. We've had so many generations of families, of experiences, but we need to make sure we take care of this crown jewel of Kansas City. And today, we talk about that very effort. We are proud to improve some of our shelters, some of which were built in the 1940s. We're proud to invest in more spaces so families and friends and communities could have more fun here. And we're proud to announce a $4 million grant from the National Park Service to help transform Swope Park and allow us to make vital repairs that enhance our recreation opportunities for everyone in our community. This grant will allow us to do some of the following things. Renovation of five shelters, and the bandstand that have been significantly damaged over time, they will finally get the attention they deserve. And I love a good celebration at the Swope Park bandstand, so we're glad that we're able to invest in it. A new 10,000 square foot inclusive playground designated for children of all ages and abilities, ensuring that every child can play outdoors. I was proud that in connection with the Northland Soccer Complex, we were able to build a good inclusive playground, a model for our region. I'm glad that we're able to do that here south of the river in an area where we get tens of thousands of visitors every year. We'll also be able to build a beautiful new neighborhood connection trail to connect the surrounding neighborhoods in Swope Park. I actually for a while in my life lived right off of Meyer Boulevard and sometimes that was a bit of a trek if you're going to this side of the park. So making sure that you have good trails that are pedestrian friendly not just having you cross all the streets, all of that, creates a good opportunity for us. This will allow us to have good footpaths and help to enhance the existing trail system that links the Kansas City Zoo, Starlight Theater, and so many of our neighborhood amenities. And of course, we will see public safety improvements, including traffic calming measures, bike lanes, and narrowed lanes. We want to make sure while Swope Park is here to enjoy, everybody can feel safe, Everybody who's crossing and traversing some of the streets through here can feel safe as well. We hope that these improvements encourage Kansas Cityans of all ages to come to what is really not just Kansas City's park, but our great urban park for an entire region, Swope Park in Kansas City. I want to thank a few people who are here today who make, help make this happen. I've had the privilege of serving for the last five and a half years with the Mayor Pro Tem, our fifth district councilwoman, Raina Park Shaw. She knows every part of this city incredibly well, but she works hard every day for the men and women of the fifth district. And there is uh, there's only one way we can get things like this, and that is council members who are fighting day in and day out to make sure that Swope Park, the fifth district, is a key focus, so I thank you for that. And Councilman Durrell Curls, who I've served with for about a year and a half. Councilman Curls is a son of Kansas City. He and I talk about the Swope Park pool all the time, and I'm not going to break news on that today, but we're going to keep working to make sure that every great asset in Swope Park can live up to the legacy that we have known in the past, and we will make sure we keep doing that work. We have the Missouri Department of Natural Resources here with us today. DNR is a big part of all of our lives here in Missouri. I think about you all from the times that I've gotten to be part of not just your spaces, but senior investments. We thank you for investing in our great urban parks and in every part of the state of Missouri. And we also have the National Park Service here as well. We thank you for investing in this important part of what every park system does, which is recreation and making sure we can do the work necessary. So we'll come back with questions at the end, but for now I'll introduce the Mayor Pro Tem of Kansas City, Raina Park Show. Good morning. Thank you so much, Mayor Lucas. As the 5th District Councilwoman, it is so exciting uh, for me to be able to stand here today uh, to receive this grant and to help benefit Swope Park where it is over 1,800 square acres as well as where more than 2 million visitors visit each year. 
And just really a couple of days ago, uh, Tuesday, and I, I actually I believe every Tuesday for the last month or so, we have just a, a few short jaunts right over the, that hill where our middle schoolers actually come to experience their cross country meet. I had an opportunity to come uh, and, and watch, actually, actually it was Councilman Bunch's son uh, excel there out, out as, a, as a, a runner. And you know, it's so awesome to think about all the memories that I have as, as a young person, uh, learning how to swim and uh, family picnics and events, uh, obviously using the, the bandstand as well. But it's more exciting to think about the additional memories that will be able to be created because of these funds. I want to thank all of those who worked to make this, this happen. Uh, definitely Department of Natural Resources, our parks staff as well. Uh, and of course the work of Councilman, Councilman, uh, there we go, we said, oh, yeah. and we said, <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Curls, we jinxed us. Yeah, we, we jinxed us. <laughs> Councilman Daryl Curls, uh, trying to stay professional. Uh, anyway, yes, there it is. So I said it for all of us. Um, but just uh, thinking about the hard work of my colleague, Councilman Daryl Curls, and the work that we will continue to do on behalf of the residents of the, of the Fifth District to bring additional um, grants and dollars and funds and amenities to the residents of the Fifth District. With that, I will turn it over to Fifth District at Large, Councilman Daryl. First of all, let me just uh, say thank you to everybody for this uh, grant, uh, the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, I mean, Swope Park has been a um, park that is, has a, a rich history in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, I am so proud that it's in the 5th District because what this is is really a destiny the nation's space for people to come on a continual basis. We've got the Starlight Theater here. We've got the Kansas City Zoo here with the new aquarium. We've got our fantastic Southeast Community Center. And we've got all this beautiful parkland that people can take and utilize to for all kind of picnics and all kind of other uh, endeavors. And so this park has a rich history. I mean, and we won't get into it. I know the mayor mentioned about the pool, which is another aspect of this park that uh, brings about a significant amount of history. So being able to continue to enhance this park, to make sure that it's a continuation for generations to come is something that I am proud of. So with that being said, I'm going to now introduce Hannah Murphy, Deputy Director, Missouri Department of Natural Resources. It is my honor to join you today to celebrate Swope Park's receipt of $4.25 million from the National Park Service through the Department of Natural Resources. Funding from this program helps create new outdoor recreation spaces in urban communities. And sometimes, like here at Swope Park, the program helps reinvigorate existing parks to form new connections between people and the outdoors. We at the Department of Natural Resources and Missouri State Parks are really honored to receive and pass along this grant to the city of Kansas City. In fiscal year 2025, the Missouri Department of Natural Resources will pass approximately 83% of our budget through to communities, um, equaling about $800 million. We are happy to help support improved infrastructure, erosion prevention, manage hazardous waste, and provide recreational opportunities um, in local communities across the state. We'd especially appreciate Patty Hubbard of the State Park Grants Program for her help with seeing this dream of renovation come to fruition in State Park. And we are grateful that through Swope Park, the Kansas City region will be a more vibrant place to live, work, and play. While we at the Department of Natural Resources and Missouri State Parks are excited about all the proposed improvements, we are most excited to see that this uh, playground that's all-inclusive will really become, we think, a destination in the south part of Kansas City. The project will replace several small obsolete play structures and open up opportunities to people of all abilities in the Kansas City area. We are humbled and honored to have Swope Park chosen to receive the grant. And as a, a hometown Kansas City girl, I know what an icon Swope Park is, and it was exciting for me to have this opportunity to come and talk to you about it today. So with that, I'd like to present our big check to the city. All right, here we go. It's wonderful. Great news. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.